Hi guys, my name is Steven and welcome to video number 9 in this new series where I'm creating a login registration system uh, using CodeIgniter which is a popular PHP framework. Um, in this video I'm going to be I think just creating the view, the main view of the sign up page. I'm going to create a link on the login page and then that will take you to another view. So the first thing I want to do for that is, uh, is go into my main controller and create a new a new public function here called sign up. And this is just going to load a uh, a view called I guess sign up. Okay, now I want to go to the uh, to the login view and create that link. So we're going to log in here. And then just after everything, we'll go a href equals close this because I always forget to actually close it and sign up. And then in here, we want to echo the base URL. Echo base underscore URL. And then we'll append the actual location that we want to go to. So in this case, that's main slash sign up and then semicolon save it now um, if we just go back to the main page without any form data or anything it's unexpected in 14 line 14 okay so um, oh yeah derp view you're probably looking at that being like Steven what is wrong with you anyway we refresh this fixed and we have a sign up link it takes us to a uh, an error because we haven't actually created the sign up view yet. So let's go ahead and do that. Um, we're going to our views, create new file, sign up. .php, and then we'll just copy the HTML syntax um, from the login form and just start over. Okay, I'll say sign up. And then sign up page. Cool. So now when I refresh this, we should be getting right. Uh, we can now we now are loading the view. So let's build it. Um, I'll open my PHP tags. I will open and close the form. So I'll go echo form underscore open, and I'll specify this right away. Um, I'll submit it to main slash um, sign up underscore validation, which is a method that I'll create later. And then I'll echo the form close. Now uh, I'll echo some p tags and as well echo the form underscore input that I'll be using for the first email field. Um, so this one will be email and the value actually I'll set this um, I didn't set it on the last on the last one so I was going to show you how um, I'll show you that after cool um, so the form input email I'll just copy this and then password and then this is instead of input it's a password and same thing because we want to enter a confirm password, so form password, and this will just be BC password. And then lastly, we will create a submit button. And this will be um, sign up underscore submit. And we'll call this sign up. There. Perfect. Um, one last thing is we want to title these or label them. So people know what fields they're actually typing for. So password, and then confirm password. There. That should be good. So we refresh this, and there it is. Looks good to me. Um, and when we submit it, it goes to the main slash uh, sign up validation method. So that's where we'll do our validation. Um, uh, so yeah, why don't we actually 
just create it. We have some time left on the video, so we'll put it right after the login validation for function. So we'll go public function sign up underscore validation. And then uh, what I'll do is first thing I'll load the library or the form validation library. So go to this load library form validation. Sweet. Um, next is what I want to set the rules. So I'll go this form validation. set underscore rules and then our three parameters. The first is the name in this case it will be email. The second is the readable name so we'll just capitalize the E. Email! <laughs> Man, that's a great idea. I want an email. And then uh, I will show you a couple more of these uh, of these different rules that you can set. Um, so we want to require and trim it first off Another thing we want to do is, what we can do is there's a function or a rule already preset in CodeIgniter and all you have to do is type valid underscore email. And I'm sure you, if you've ever done form validation with native PHP, you know you can get some pretty nasty functions that, are, that try and decipher whether a email is valid or not. So this is a function, you just pass it in and uh, if it's not a valid email, it'll throw an error for the email field that'll say um, your email is not valid and it's very useful very functional another thing um, is there's an is unique uh, an is unique rule that receives a parameter now this is um, the database name and then the database ta or the database table and then the field that it's going to check for so basically what it does is th this is actually because CodeIgniter already knows where the database is it's going to check in this table and it's going to check all the email fields to see if email is the same as that is the email field for each and every one. Um, and basically what it does is it just checks to see if it's unique, right? Um, so it'll throw, an, it'll throw an error if it's not, which means like um, in this instance it would throw an error if somebody had already signed up for, with the same email address, um, which is extremely useful, which means we don't have to do that and most of the time we do, so CodeIgniter, A+. Plus. Um, create a couple more rules. I'll just copy this because I'm lazy. We'll go this form validation and then for the password field. And then this is not a valid email. It's we don't need to check to see if it's, if it's unique. We just need to require it, trim it, and that's it. Um, we could also MD5 it here, but I'm going to MD5 it later. Um, just because we need to compare it to the com a C password. So we'll just control D that and go C password, confirm password. And then there's another really cool function called matches. And this will actually, this will validate whether or not it matches the field that we specify. So if the C password field doesn't, doesn't uh, match the password field, it'll throw an error for the C password field. Um, which is extremely useful. I'm sure I don't, it doesn't take a lot of explanation to understand why that's useful. Um, we don't have to write that function. And if we could, we could make our own callback, but CodeIgniter's done it for us. We don't need to. Um, lastly, we just need to check if the validation has been run. So we'll go if this form validation validation run. So if it's been run, we'll just echo pass for now, else we'll echo no pass, no, you shall. Beautiful. Okay, so let's try this out. Um, I'll refresh this just to make sure that it's running the latest version and we'll go email will be hello at welcome.com password and I'm gonna leave this one blank to see if anything happens. You shall not pass. It's not very angry. Um, what I could do is uh, let's, oh obviously if it doesn't pass 
I'll echo that, but I'll also load the sign up view. This load view sign up. Excellent. And which also reminds me, I need to echo the form validation or the validation errors. And now click enter. It says the password field is required, the confirm password field is required. Um, and you shall not pass. He's very angry. So we'll go hello and welcome. I'm going to leave that invalid on purpose. We'll go password. Um, just do password. The email field must contain a valid email address. That's cool. Oh, okay. So this is this is cool. Um, if I right the second parameter in the form input uh, function is the value. So like I showed you before, we can actually set this to this um, input post and then whichever field. So especially for the email, we want this to re to to reset to actually what they type so they don't have to type it every time like I would have to right now. Um, so what we'll do is also for login, we should do that for the login as well. Um, so we can go this input post uh, email. And then we also need another bracket. Cool. Okay, now if I refresh this, say hello. And now you can actually see like hello is re re registering and it's there every time now. Cool. So I'm going to leave this video at 12 minutes, which is a little bit over time. But uh, yeah, in the next video, we'll talk about, uh, I guess we'll finish this. We'll, we'll handle the, what happens when the form is validated. We'll also test like uh, the field where the, the is unique field. And I'll show you what that's like. Cool. Uh, thanks for watching.